Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Master Inumakun. Things are about to pop off. The Walter staff that we were introduced to in the in the episode. I thought they were like, oh, they're so nice people. They're just having, helping us have fun. At the end, it's like, psych. We are the Musach no Guru, the Six Fingers. And I'm most betrayed by, what was her name? I think it was Shida, right? Just because she was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> she took Iruma around, and, you know, they're so kind though. Every one of them was so kind to us other than I mean one of the groups did try to like steal our money and they kind of like scammed us to the skeleton, you know, pieces had us to beat us in the game. But I think I thought they were all really nice. Was it just an act or is, are they just truly just really evil? And they're a group that wants to return to how demons used to be, kind of like how Kiriwo and Bal wanted that to be too, right? So there's other groups like that. But does that mean that we're tr we're truly different? Like, are they really here to destroy the entire theme park? Or can we come to terms and maybe they're actually not bad? Because we've seen how kind they could be, unless it's just an act and I'm just on copium and we have to beat them. We do have Badam, Opera, and Caligo. But it wouldn't be fair, I guess, if they would carry the entire fights, right? So I think something's going to happen where they're all um, too busy to help us. And then the misfits have to do something to fight against, uh, I guess, the magical beast and the six fingers. Ronobe is also here. Don't forget about that. I hope he's actually really strong. Ah, we'll see. Maybe he's just a joke character, but we'll see. Let's start today's episode. Oh. Mm. Oh. Did he just protect? <laughs> you know, it's like, what the fuck is going on? But no one can detect it but him. That's actually pretty hype. Even Bottom, I'm not saying Bottom has to be able to, his power isn't really fit for that, but damn, Agadas is really useful. Huh? Yeah, suddenly we're under attack. Oh, what the fuck happened to our Walter Park? Also, rip Ronove is from Theme Park? I mean, I guess they're rich enough to fix all this shit bad, but damn, feels bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you're not supposed to be touching guys. <laughs> Whenever other people touch him, he goes like, oh my god, it's a guy touching me, and he dies. There are the three bees, but on top of that, you have the six fingers. Dude, these beasts kind of seem menacing. So each group will take one beast. We are separated into three groups. How convenient. No, not the roller coaster. Mountain Blue. This is Caligo's group? Yes. Kamui, what are you going to do to help fight? What is... Like, I haven't seen... It. What does Kamui do again? Have we seen his bloodline ability? You gotta run, I think. Caligo, where are you at? Oh, there you are. What are you gonna say? You running away, pussies? <laughs> Fight it. <laughs> and? Uh, buddy, do you see them? Do you start being attacked? <laughs> oh, Caligo, what's going on? Oh, okay. That's right. And in this moment, you should protect your students, right? You should let them run? He seems awfully calm about this. Yeah? Oh, what? <laughs> we shall be training. You're gonna fight these guys? <laughs> Go fight it! <laughs> oh my god, Kali. Now he's smiling. Now he's having fun! You know? We might actually win this contest at this rate. <laughs> oh, you usually put your students up first, right? We gotta care protect the students first. And they're like, hmm, this is a perfect opportunity. Go train! And he teaches me like we gotta run now, but go <laughs> steal your resolve. Let's see this. But how is Kamui gonna fight? What the fuck can Kamui do? <laughs> do Don't run. <laughs> All right, Kaligo. He's re he he's smiling so much. Shax can like disable you know senses. Jazz can steal. Kamui, he's just horny as fuck. I don't know how he detected that, but good good save. And then we have Samurai, Wind Samurai. So... Huh? Kamui, you can... Here we go! We're getting his bloodline ability! Friendship. Any creature's language and speak to them. Okay. Anything. Not... Okay, who's gonna stop this though? Wind Samurai, cut all that shit. So he has the offensive capabilities, of course. Oh wait, his name is Garp? Ooh. Like from One Piece, you know, if, if you're a One Piece fan. Honestly, the four of them, we only need one attack. Because the three of them preps for the samurai to attack. No, 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 no. This is actually a decent team. 
We have one of each. It's quite, it's quite well rounded. And then Jazz uses Pit to find like the weak points, but he can only really take one eye. And then Kamui kind of acts as bait. <laughs> and then Kamui just shits on him and baits him. Wait, he's like a mermaid. What the fuck? All right, Garp. Oh, Flaming Windblade. Okay, I thought we would be using Pit to find like a weak spot, but it's not good enough. No, not at all. A clean hit right on like it's where it's most durable probably. Nah. Kaligo, are you watching? <laughs> Kaligo, are you watching? I wonder if he's having fun like on the side. That's like, oh, this is so much fun. Finally. <laughs> Oh my god! No, he's having so much fun. You're just reading his handbook. Buddy, cuz you can summon like three golden Cerberus things and <laughs> probably take it out. Hmm? Jazz? All of a sudden? What is it? Everything we've learned. <laughs> there aren't any adults we can rely on. <laughs> we've given up on Kaligo and every adult. <laughs> We look all very enlightened now. Um, but that doesn't solve anything though. <laughs> We're fucked. This is pretty funny how Kyle goes is super chilling and is like, as if this is still a vacation resort <laughs> during all this mayhem. This is a crazy looking beast though. I'm sure they'll be fine. We just need to use Jazz's pit to find a weak spot. Who's he? Who? Oh, the, oh right! There's a guy named Triton here in the in, in the prison. What was he like? The he's not the warden, is no? Was he like vice captain or something? Yeah, we got a little bit of an introduction. Not really, but just a bit. The handshaker. His hands are huge. Does, does he just squeeze people into torture? Wait, Triton's getting. This is him, right? We just hyped this dude up and he's getting trashed by who? Oh my... Old man? The little twinkle fairy? What? He's so tiny and cute, but he's more strong than him. What's his bloodline ability? How big you actually are. Like, it's almost as if he's just so compressed down to a little fucking diamond. That's why he's so strong. Or we just get pilled out. Oh, Jazz is the leader, huh? Oh, he's the highest rank. <laughs> They're for you, the leader. Oh, shit. We're surrounded by a bunch of shitters. <laughs> Please help us, leader. <laughs> huh? What is this? Oh, come on, Jazz. Come on, Jazz. Step up. It's time for you to be a leader. <laughs> they want to live but obviously jazz too wants to probably be doing like this like to have another leader big bro does he have a little bit of a like superior like an inferiority complex between big bro and old like like because he has a bigger brother he always probably relies on him maybe but it's a meritocracy meaning if you can step up, you're just better. But he probably... This place is a ruin. This is his room, man. <laughs> okay, that's your room then. Damn, big bro. You're kind of mean. <laughs> but right now you have three friends that are kind of looking up at you like a big bro. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> come on. They said, Aniki, come on, help him. I, I don't know. Okay, they might have Shaxx's puppy, has, but I don't know about Kamui. Kamui's eyes always look like they're about to pop out. Okay, he's stepping up. Jazzy. Big bro, come on. Look at Kamui's eyes every time. Even Garp's eyes glistening. Yeah, they just don't want to be at the front line. They're all going to die. It's not going to be like, big bro, please save us. Like, I don't want to fucking die, you know? Kaligo going to give us some tips? Oh wow, he's actually got off his chair. Huh? What is that? That's a good question. What is that? Is that the thing that's gonna save us? What? What is? Huh? Instruments? What, what do you mean? What is that? Eat him a go. 
What are you doing, kid? Run over. Kid, what are you doing? Get out of there. Uh-oh. Irma's gonna get there in time, right? Huh? Well, damn, everyone just gives up. Oh my, wow. Wow. I mean, it's not like there's an imminent threat everywhere right now. There's some time, but everybody just said, fuck it, we're just gonna leave. But they are demons. I mean, it's not so different from humans, but I guess that makes sense why they're treating it like that. Irma won't do it. Irma won't let this happen, no. Yeah, he's right in front. This is kind of insane. I, I, I see like a line of people not doing anything. Motherfuckers just on their phones. But I'm getting reminded once again, this isn't Earth. Like, these aren't humans. These are demons. I keep forgetting. I, I get so, like... I, I, there, was, there was a time before like that, too. When, when was that? They're demons, after all. Yes. The uneasiness. What you... What's happening to Iruma? He's a little mad? Oh, I'm down. You were mad? I want him to go through that evil cycle right now. Ali, come on, put him into Irumin mode. Come on. He's actually getting mad, though. Okay, next episode's gonna be Mad Iruma, huh? And that's another episode of Iruma Kun. At the end there, what Iruma was saying and how everybody just kind of left. Balam said there are demons after all, you know, there's no empathy. And, and then I, I keep forgetting, like, holy shit, they are demons. That's right, that's the entire fucking show. And there was a moment like that in season one too, I think, where there was like, um, it was against Kiriwo, was it? And he thought, he realized, oh, right, they are demons. And there's like this empathy is completely gone. So Iruma's getting pissed off. He's actually getting mad. But I hope... Uh, evil cycle Iruma doesn't happen unless Ali actually puts us in an evil cycle because he's a human. It's not... A human just getting mad can't go in an evil cycle. They're not a demon, right? So I can't really expect Irumin to come out unless Ali somehow changes us. But we're about to see Iruma get mad for the first time. This soft little boy, he's about to get mad. I'm... This is gonna be good. This is gonna be exciting. Also, I guess Jazz is gonna do something with this little instrument thing going on in opera's group i'm sure we'll be fine I, they'll still figure something out but it's getting pretty fun this arc is getting pretty fun but hey if you stick around this song and if you joined my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check out the other videos and playlists on my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one it helps the youtube i push on my small channel to recommend it so that i have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors until next time guys take care